Hi. Today I'll be talking about uh, combining multiple layers within an instrument device and later on putting that into a drum rack. And for that I'll be working with the Buckshot drum kit samples from analog drums. And the samples from this uh, drum kit come in uh, multiple layers, microphone layers. So they have three separate controllable layers for close mics, overheads and room microphones. And what I'll be doing in Ableton is create a drum rack uh, that combines all these three microphones and on top of that assign some device uh, macros that will let you control or switch on and off certain layers. So let's get started and hop on over to Ableton Live. Um, let's have a quick look at what exactly it is that we're working with. Uh, this Buckshot folder has three subfolders for the close, overhead and room microphone. And each one containing samples for all the drum kit pieces. So if, for instance, we look at the kick drum, you see there's 24 samples here, uh, all recorded at different uh, velocities. So these are the close mic samples. Then over here you have the kick overhead samples. And further down we have the kick room microphone samples. Then it's just a matter of adding the samples to a sampler device, one for each uh, microphone. Now I've already explained how to do that in a, a previous video. The one about the big mono. So I'm going to skip that part and jump right in uh, with creating or combining the three different microphones into one device. As you can see, I have three tracks here, each containing a sampler device um, for the snare drum, uh, containing all the samples. An important part here is if you look at the zones and at their velocities, they all need to match up, meaning uh, the length and uh, the position of the samples needs to be the same for each microphone. So if I switch between them, you can see they all match up. Before we move on, let's first have a listen to what they sound like. I'll start them one after the other so you can uh, hear how they sound when they are stacked up. Now the next step is to add them to the uh, instrument track. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab an instrument track. Then I'll go and find those instruments in my library and add them to the instrument rack. There's the close mic, the overhead, and the room microphone. Let's go ahead and copy over the MIDI. So stop all the channels. Now playing the instrument track will have the same effect as playing the three separate tracks at the same time. So far so good. I now have the three different microphones inside one instrument track overlaid on top of each other. But that doesn't give us uh, much control of, uh, for instance, how much uh, of the overhead microphone we want or how much of the room microphone. And on top of that, I would also like the ability to switch between different microphones or rather uh, switch on and off certain uh, microphones. And to do that, I'm going to switch on the chain select editor. And by dragging these zones in and out, uh, I'll be determining which chain will be active. The combinations that I'm looking for are the close mic solo, 
then the close mic combined with the overhead mic and then the close mic combined with the room mic and then of course all three of them together so close mic overhead mic room mic and here is how this works if you need a bit more control you can select large here so you get a better view gonna start all of them position one this one will always be active so that's the close mic this one put here like that so if I select one it will be close mic only two will be close mic combined with the overhead mic three is gonna be all the mics together and four is gonna be the close mic combined with the room mic to be able to control the position it's just a matter of right clicking here and assigning it to a macro so map to macro one it now called chain selector uh, only other thing to do now is because it goes from 0 to 127 which is not what I need I just needed to go from 1 all the way up to 4 so go into map mode and type that in 1 4 and we're done so now it's at position 1 2 3 4 and that's all we need if I now enable this button here I'll be able to see uh, which of the chains is uh, active when playing the track. So let's activate all of them. As you could probably hear, the room microphone is a bit overwhelming so next thing I'm gonna do is add volume macros for each microphone like that and I can now mix in each of the uh, microphones as much or as little as I want so let's give that a shot like this now that's much better and from here on it's just a matter of creating uh, more instruments for the other drum kit pieces and then putting them all together in one big drum rack and to show you what that looks like i'll now switch over to another document that i already created that already has a drum rack in it so this is the drum rack with a, a couple of more instruments in them so the kick snare three toms hi-hat and as you can see the same controls that I showed you earlier so the microphone selector the volume for the close mic overhead and the room microphone and uh, from the rack I control all of them at the same time so changing the volume here changes it for all the separate instruments but let's have a listen
there you have it. Thanks for watching.